Hello students, guess who this is? No, it's not Brad Pitt, it's your Professor Dr. Mink, sorry. All kidding aside, this is the trap demo I reference in the chapter nine uh, video lecture. And I want to walk you through the entire trap vector uh, mechanism. So all this program does is it solicits a single character input from the user using the uh, in or trap x23 routine. And then it compares it to see if it's uh, compares it to negative seven. If it's negative seven, I'm sorry, compares it to negative seven because it, if it is seven, that is a sentinel value that terminates this looping program. But if it's a an uppercase character, it translates it to its lowercase equivalent. So let's walk through this using a combination. Once again, going to the run modes, step into and step out of. We're going to step into the trap routine when we get there. And then I'm going to show you what step out does. So here we're loading into R2 um, the ASCII equivalent of negative 7. The negative 7 would be 55, hex 55. And this is negative 55. I'm sorry, decimal 55. This is negative 55. We're going to use that for the comparison. And then we'll, we're going to load 32 is the offset between upper and lower case ASCII characters. And then we're going to watch. Now this is where everything that we're focused on happens. So I'm going to execute the instruction at hex 3002. During the fetch stage, the instruction processing cycle, the program counter will get incremented. Point it to the next instruction, which is 3003. 3003, during the trap routine, will be moved to R7. That is our linkage back from the trap routine. So two things I want you to watch. We're going to go to hex 23. And I just happen to have, I saved memory in a file called text.trap.txt. OK, well, if we go down to hex 23, this is the trap vector table. You'll see an address. 04A0. This is the binary, 16 bit binary equivalent of hex 04A0. So let's go back. Let me get my console. Okay. So now watch what happens when we execute trap x23. First thing you'll notice is R7 will hold the linkage back. So I'm going to step into this. There's the linkage back. We went to the trap vector table at hex 0023, and that 0023 was the address of the first instruction of the trap routine. And we can see our return down here. See it? So I'm not going to walk us through this whole thing step by step. I'm now going to go to the run mode step out. Step out will run until it gets to the return. In this case, it's going to be looping or polling, waiting for a single character input. So here we are. Go over to the console, and I'll type a capital M. And there we are. It ran to return the M, which is 77, is start in R0. That's the return value of this system subroutine. Now we're going to add R2 
an R0 and store it in R1. Remember R2 is the negative 7. And we get a positive value. If that were 0, because our next instruction is a branch, if that were 0, we'd be jumping out of this program, or you'd be exiting, jumping to the hall. But it's positive, which means it wasn't a 7. So then we're going to not take that branch. We'll add R3 to R0 and store it back into R0, translating that to its lowercase equivalent. Now we're going to execute a trap x21. Let's go back. And there's x21, and an x21 in the trap vector table is 0, 4, 3, 0. So I'll step into that next instruction, and you'll watch the program counter get stored in R7. And there we are at 0, 4, 3, 0. I'm going to execute step out of, and there's our lowercase m. And I can continue, if I put this in run mode, you know, it'll take a P, and then if I type in 7, it halts. Hope this was useful. I really would like you to download that code, run it, and do the memory dumps and see it for yourself. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me.